All right, so here's our homework for today. We're going to do page 581 and page 582, lesson 5, chapter 8. So first things first, here is our explanation. Our homework helper always helps us with homework. Um, and it's just an example of what we did in our homework. So this is the least common multiple. So Ben's Burgers gives away a free order of fries every two days, a free milkshake every three days, and a free hamburger every four days. If they gave away all three items today, in how many days will they give away the, all three items again? Right? They're going to have, they give a different food or drink every certain amount of days. So every so often they're going to give all three on the same day. So every two days is fries. Every three days is a milkshake, and every four days is a hamburger. So, right, on the twelfth day, I did my multiples of two. They gave away fries. In two, two, they gave away fries. They gave away fries. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. They gave away fries. Milkshake days. They gave them on three, on the six days, on the nine days, and then again on the twelfth day. So I see they have that in common. Hamburgers every four days. So they gave it away that day and then again that day and then again that day so I can see on the 12th day right they all started at 1 or actually it would probably be the 0 they all started right at the on the that first day was a 0 day and then two days passed right 0 1 2 and then they gave away fries again so the least common multiple of 2 3 and 4 is 12 so, Ben's Burgers will give away all three items again in 12 days, right? And you might be one of those people that's, I want to be there on that 12th day. So, you might um, need to figure this out, right? Here was the Monday was the day they gave them away. Then I'm going to go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday will be the next day that they'll give them away, right? And I would count like that. Right here, they're trying to tell you they gave away hamburger, milkshake, and fries on day zero, right, when I started. On the second day, they gave away fries, then a milkshake, then a hamburger and fries came on that same day, right? Then nothing on the fifth day, right? Nothing on the first day. Day six, a milkshake and fries. Day seven, nothing. Day eight, got a hamburger and fries. Ninth day, got just a milkshake. Tenth day, got just french fries. And then another day with nothing. And then this day, on the twelfth day, every bit, we gave hamburger, milkshake, and fries. So, right, there's lots of different reasons I would want to know these kind of things. The common, the least common multiple. So, 7 and 14, hopefully you can see, right, I can already see 7 and 14. My multiples of 7 are 7 and 14. My multiples of 14, just 14. But I could do this two different ways, right? That's where I'm messing you guys up, I'm sure, I'm sorry. Is I could do this, I could say 2 times 7. Sorry, 7 isn't 2 times 7, it's just 7. 14 is 2 times 7. But what I do if they both have, or if any of the numbers have a co the common um, number in them, the common prime number, I'm only going to use it once, right? So I used it here, so I'm not going to use it here. So now I just take whatever numbers are left and I multiply them together, and that is my least common multiple. So I'll do it again here both ways. So I'm going to say 6 and 15. So 6, I'm going to do my multiples of 6. 6. 12, 18, 24, 30, right? I might keep going, but I know 15's multiples is 15 and 30. My least common multiple is 30. I'm going to do it the other way as well, though, since I messed up so badly. Now, I, now I'm like, oh, that's what I was doing wrong. Now I'm going to do it again. 2 times 3. And 15 is 3 times 5, right? I see they both have a 3 here. I can't do 2, 3, so I'm going to get rid of one of the 3s. 
And now I can multiple all my prime factorization together and I will have the right answer. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 5 is 30. Right, I would just take all my prime numbers and multiply them together. All right, I got 5, 9, and 15. So this is probably the long way to do it. Oop, there's a 15, but I know that 9 won't have a 15 there, right? I know 9's going to have an 18, mm, so i got to keep going. So I'm going to 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, I'll stop right there. So now I'm going to count here, right? 9, 8, 27, 36, 45, oh, and I know 15 is 15, 30, and 45, 45 is my least common multiple. I can also do it this way, which this way might be a little easier. Five, right, five is just five. Nine is just nine. Fifteen is three times five. But, right, this is where I kept messing up. I was putting all those prime factorization numbers, but it's not. I And I wasn't putting it if I didn't see it in all three of the numbers I'm looking at, but I still need it. I still need to get rid of one of the du duplicate numbers. This one has a 5, this one has a 5, so I'm going to get rid of one of their 5s. And my answer is going to be 5. <clears throat> Oops, I see where I messed up here again. I'm like, ah, no, that's not right, because 9 isn't just 9. 9 is 3 times 3. Oops, so I need to get rid of one of my fives and one of my threes. I'll get rid of this three. So now I'm left with five, three, and three. So I'm gonna say five times three times three. And five times three is 15, and 15 times three is 45. So it's just my way of double checking my answer if I did it correctly. Are you copying with me, Brian? Do you need me to? All right, so number four. The cycles for two different events are shown on in the table. Each of these events happen in the year 2000. What is the next year in which both will happen? <clears throat> so I can see here the Summer Olympics happened every four years. The United States Census happened every 10 years. In 2000, we had a census and an Olympics, right? I know in 2010, in 2020, we had a census. Hopefully you guys remember, right? We had a census. We probably would have had Olympics too. But I know I need to figure out what is the next number that is gonna, these are gonna have in common, right? Four and 10. So I'll take my four and my 10. Hopefully you guys can already see, right? This already happened. We already know that. So four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. And 10 is 10 and 20. So I can see 20 is the year they have in common. I'm gonna double check it though by doing this four and 10. I'll say four is two times two and 10 is two times five. They both have a two in it, so I'm gonna get rid of one of the twos. And then I'm gonna have two times two times five equals two times two is four times five is 20. So in it's gonna happen again in 20 years from 2000. So that would be 2020, but they didn't know we were gonna have, except for there was a COVID, so we didn't have um, Olympics. We did have the census, right? They went around and counted us. 2020 is the year when it w should have happened again. Now we don't know. All right, so number five. In the statement below, always, sometimes, or never, 
true. Sorry, is the statement below always, sometimes, or never true? Are, is the straight statement below always, sometimes, or never true? Give at least two examples to support your reasoning. The lowest common multiple of two numbers is the product of the two numbers. And I'm going to say it's sometimes true, right? It's sometimes true. If both numbers are, let's see, how, do, how can I word it? I want to look how they worded it in our book. Oh, they just gave an example. If both numbers um, are, oh, have no, no common prime factor. Right, if they have common prime factors, then it's not gonna work. But if they don't have common prime factors, then it will work. In the book, they gave an example. Like 3 times 4 equals 12. Right? Because 3 is just 3, and 4 is 2 times 2. So there's no common prime factors. So I'm going to say this equals 3 times 2 times 2. All right, and my next one down below says, fill in each blank with the correct word or words to complete each sentence, right? They put that S in parentheses, so I know it's word or words, it might be two words. So I have to fill it in. Multiples that are shared by two or more numbers are, right, if, if they have two or more common multiples, I'm gonna call them common multiples. If they share two or more numbers, they have common multiples. Oops, I need an L. Right, like two and eight. They share two or more common multiples, right? Two is two, four, six, eight, 12, 14, 16. I can keep going. But 8 is 8, 16, 24, right? And right now I can see they already have two common multiples. Here's the least common multiple, 8. It's the smallest number they both share. All right, it's weird that we're finding the least common multiple divide, dividing and then multiplying, but the least common multiple, LCM, is the blank multiple other than 0 common to both sets. Right, and it's right there, the least multiple. It's the smallest, I could also write, it's the smallest multiple. They didn't give me any words to use, so I can put any word I want, as long as it makes sense. Here's Micah. Micah is buying items for a birthday party. If he wants to have the same amount of each item, what is the least number of packages of cups he needs to buy? <clears throat> so he wants to have the same amount of each item. So I have to figure out how many cups and how many plates he's going to have to buy. And then it says, what is the least number of cups? that he needs to buy, right? I want to figure out how, when he's going to have the same amount of each and how many cups he's going to buy. So if he buys cups, they're coming in packages of six. And plates come in eight, right? And I already know six and eight, the common number is 24. So, but now I have to figure out how many packages of cups to get 24. He's going to need six, 12, 18, 24, right? Four packages of cups. I know he's going to need 8, 16, 24. He's going to need three packages of plates, right? One, two, three packages of plates. 
and four packages of cups so that he has 24 of each, right? This is a problem you'll really, really, really have to do sometimes because hot dogs come in packages of 12 and they and the buns, you only get eight buns. So we have to always figure out the difference between our, so right, this is a real problem that you'll have.